Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Before I get into uh, my painting today, I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is a painting that I did the other day. And um, it's dry. And I just wanted to show you guys how it dried. It, um, it held up to, um, to the shapes that it had whenever um i finished pouring it so and through here it's very metallic um this portion right here so um yeah i just wanted to show you guys i don't usually show the dried ones just because i don't i just don't think to to be honest but um I really, really like this piece. So, I'm going to let it cure, and then I'm going to put a varnish on it. Now, what can we do today? Um, it is actually... I normally paint at night, like when I get off of work. But, um, this is Saturday morning, and it's actually like 9 o'clock in the morning because I have got to go to school this afternoon. So, um, we are painting when we can. Today, I'm going to be using the Anita's Metallic in black. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby. They had a sale on their craft paints this week. And um, I picked this one up. So, I picked up a good a good few. They um, did seem to have more in stock. So, um, I got some new colors. So this is the um, Anita's Metallic in Black. And I'm going to use the rest Artist Loft. Um, this is in Vermilion. Deep Red. Crimson. Old Gold. And Deep Yellow. So, um, kind of a fiery um, look to this. I'm also going to be pouring on a 10 by 20. Normally, I reserve these canvases for, um, if you hear Miss June, she's barking. Um, that's what I call my, the dog. The dog is Miss June. <laughs> Not a person. Um, but normally, I reserve these canvases for flipping drags, but um, I kind of wanted to do this dirty pour on it. So, um, I don't know if there's going to be a very noticeable difference between the crimson color and the deep red, as you can see. Only slightly different, um, but um, I think it could still make things interesting. And these are thinned, pretty thin, which I have explained um, I want these paints to be pretty thin so that the, um, Anita's can push through it. Okay, so let's get to layering, and I guess since I've got, well, I'm not layering, I'm just going to do a dirty pour. Um, well, I just dropped the red and the yellow. I'm going to pour it kind of off-centered. I mentioned this the other day that um, uh, instead of just pouring straight into the center every time to try pouring in different areas. So that I'm going to try and do that. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. We'll find out together. So for some of y'all are so sweet for y'all who were wishing me well on my project um i did do well it was based on percentage and um it was 20 percent of my grade and i made 19 percent on that so um i had come out of the class with like a 96 i think so i was very happy um Yes, very happy. All right. Do I have enough paint in here? Because I'm going to do multiple. I want to do multiple pours, I think. 
I think I did. I'm going to put this black down. I've been seeing um, the kind of like the new popular technique is the ghost swipes. And they're really, really pretty. And I want to do one. I tried to do one the other day, but I did not, um, I didn't understand that you didn't need a lot of paint. And so I kind of like put a ton of paint um, down and then it just made a big old mess. But I watched some more videos and um, so now I think maybe I will try again. Okay. Now you hear a chub chub barking? All right. I'm just going to do a traveling ring pour. Move it around. I like traveling ring pours because they make a lot of interest. You know what this reminds me of? You know the um, Chinese New Year? When they have the dragon, um, the floats, I, I don't know the proper word for this, but the dragons, the people are inside them, and they're making the, the big dragons dance. It's a dragon. All right, so move it back up. I have a lot of paint on this canvas. I probably got a little crazy with my base coat. Oh, what do I spy with my little eye? I thought I, thought I saw a full troll boogie. Let me get my tweezers ready. Because I think I did see one. I don't want to pour off all this yellow. Because it seems that this is the only end I got it on. Those silly dogs, they were quiet as church mouse till I started recording. Now, I know I'm silly. I have to pour it in some certain direction. 
I can't help it. I've been thinking about maybe getting one of those wire racks like you put in the oven. Um, because I always touch the sides and mess up my edges. And if I put it on a wire rack, then maybe I won't mess up my edges so much. I don't know how well that will work. For a canvas, you know. Oh, so my ignorance is covered. Let's see, did I get enough paint off? I think so. It's still moving pretty fast. Given how much I don't talk. Some people really, really appreciate this color palette. The reds and oranges and yellows. And, um, and I actually have mm, two pieces hanging in my office that are this color palette. But... I'm not a fan of these. I like I like neutrals. It's funny because yellow is my favorite color. But when it comes to painting, it's not. They are coming through. They're very subtle compared to the other ones, but I spoke about this in the other painting, how the metallics are not as, they don't just go crazy like the um, non-metallics, but they do work. This little portion here looks like flames. It's very pretty. I don't... Do you see how they have this elongated look? Like I've cut into the paint in some places. That's really cool. I just don't know why it's doing that. The other ones have not done this. Okay, so you guys know how it goes. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to let it kind of react um, for a little while and then we will revisit it. All right, so these are um, the two pieces that I did and I'll give you some close-ups. As you can see, um, we do have some of those little cells. They're a bit more, um, scattered than the other metallic that I did. But, they're there. Um, yeah. And, this is the smaller one. Now, see how these are more concentrated? That's how I'm used to them looking. So, 
this uh, larger one just went a little crazy. Um, but this is more like what I'm used to seeing, like along the edges and stuff. So, anyway, yeah. These are my little paintings that I did with the Anitas. Um, and, um, uh, now I'm going to do some more. Okay, I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.